um, anyone that's involved in twisting, they can make it. Yeah. Trying to lower it because what you do is you slide it through this little hole here. Huh. I'm alive with Justin. <laughs> I'm alive with Justin playing about with a really weird, shitty little tool that doesn't work. Up, right, and it'll twist the foil bit. But you've still got to hold the end. There's just no point of that. And then, how the fuck do you get off iron? You have to cut it. No idea. This polite email saying, mate, not being funny, but that's shit. <laughs> yeah. My drill does. I'll quite happily send it back to you. <laughs> it does not make a with him. It does not make a clap them work. No, you'll have to send it back. Says, yes, it does. No, it doesn't. You can't physically make a couple where there's no point in the middle. And if it if it did, it'd be fucking just a week when you get a bit of couple. Yeah. Uh, right. Oh, so. We're like, by the way, Justin, we've just had five minutes of you talking about a tool that doesn't work. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> All right, guys, everyone who's watching, uh, thanks for joining us on another live uh, show. Um, I'm David, admin. Uh, just a quick apology for last week's show. Uh, a lot of us were busy and stuff, and we couldn't make it on, so just a big apology there. Um, I'm vaping on the cuboid with my uh, Nalu, my favourite RDA ever. Uh, use this um, AZ Swag Sauce Sugar Skull, which is bloody lovely juice. Smooth, loads of flavour, fantastic. Anyway, I'll pass it on to James. Hey guys, uh, this week I am on uh, the Ely Firepower with still testing the Crown 2, still not getting any joy out of the coils. Um, two days is the maximum I've had still. Um, on Joker, Swag Sauce Joker with that one. And the other one I'm on is the Triad DNA 200 with a Goon Clove and Sugar Skull in that one. Justin? Tonight, on the 2 and 3, A, because I can't be asked to charge the batteries, to be fair, and I've got to be twisted messages, but I am on Milky Mango, which is the new vape line from 12 Monkeys, and oh my god, if I just read the profile of Milky Mango, is a tasty and frothy treat to invigorate your taste, I even said to invigorate, yeah, yeah. Your taste buds, this enjoys a medley of freshly sliced mangoes blended with a smooth yogurt and a splash of steep milk. And, well, it's just fantastic, mate. It really is. Nice. Sounds nice. <clears throat> and we'll come back to you in a bit about that. In a bit. <laughs> yes. In a bit. Yeah. All right, guys, uh, I'm going to show some new products. I'm going to do a quick screen share. Um, found a few interesting products that are out at the moment, so uh, I'll do a quick screen share now if I can. It's going to go crazy and just go... Ready? Is it? <coughs> Hopefully it's not too loud. Am I screen sharing? You are. Nice. Right, first off, uh, we've got the Council of Vapor Trident. 60 watt box mod. Now, the reason I've seen this and thought it'd be interested in the show is because of this. It comes in like a extra sleeve. So as you can see, you can take the whole mod part out and then they change the sleeves on it. Oh cool. Yeah, which I think is quite smart. Nice. As you can see there, it's like a separate sleeve. So I presume they're gonna bring out a few different ones. All matchy matchy type of thing, like you know like Limitless has with the box and stuff like that. all the things that are coming out now are all matchy matchy so that uh, next is the new Atlantis Evo by Aspire it basically is a Clio um, <laughs> it's TPD compliant but does come with a 4mm extension which is good um, increased airflow so as you can see at the bottom there is plenty plenty of airflow uh, a few little things Double wicking efficiency team with lower position in wick. So as you see, the wick's different and the coils look a bit smaller. Um, you get a 0.4 and a 0.5 sub-on coil. As you can see, 
4.5 mil. Pirate 2, drip tip. These are the coils. Which are the same as the uh, train coils as well. Yeah, they look like it, don't they? Yeah, they're the same. You can swap them. Ah, cool. Well, that's easy. Then everyone knows what a coil is. Um, obviously, just like the clay, oh, you've got your little heat rings at the top. Top fill. Loads of clouds. <laughs> That's basically it, really. It's just a Clayato, to be fair, but just with uh, the trying coils. So I pre-ordered those. You pre-ordered them, have you? Yeah. Um, they do two versions. One's a two mil, or they do a uh, a two mil with the four mil extension included, and that's the only one I ordered because uh, gives people options then. Yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. But yeah, it looks all right. I think you know people who like Aspire. Everyone knows the Clayato. It's a fantastic. Uh, Tank, so this you know, it could be good. It could be good. And the fact that the coils are already out, yeah, people yeah. use them, they know what the coils are like. So, they're yeah. I'm gonna say, not I'm like a smart fan or anything, yeah, but I just can't give it this. It's the, the original Aspire Atlantis. I actually still have mine. <laughs> I can't good give it my, it was my first tank, <laughs> yeah. Uh, next, we have the Smok 220 Tree Box, um, which is basically the same size and shape as an R200, but obviously it's got an extra 20 watt of power and looks like a tree. <laughs> <laughs> basically, that's the only difference. They made it look like a tree. They changed the buttons a little on the front, and yeah, they made them look like a tree. I suppose they're going down that route. If you know everyone's into stab wood and stuff like that. They're just probably trying to make it, as I said, they're made by natural Brazil rosewood. So it's actually made out of wood, that's good, and if it catches fire, it's just going to go up easy. Hopefully it doesn't, obviously battery safety and all that. Um, fires down to 0.1 ohm, up to 0.3, and in uh, temp mode, 0.6 to 0.2, which is not too bad. Obviously a lot of people like that size of a smock, you know, like the R200 and stuff, and... You know, you get an extra 20 watt of power, so, and it's made out of wood. If you're into that stuff, there you nice. go, here's one for you. Our next one is more for beginners. What's that? You like it? I'll see one with a wood effect on it. Oh, yeah, that, that's it there. <laughs> uh, next one, we have the Evo 75 kit with the Atlantis Evo tank. It's obviously it's just a Spire's new thing, a 75 watt mod. Um, tank takes the 0.4 camphor clap bin and the 0.5 camphor clap bin as well. The mod resistance in temperature control and variable wattage mode 0.2 to 0.9. Um, the 75 couldn't reach the 75 watt when the coil resistance exceeds 0.9. So obviously you've got like really low builds, and if an over 0.9, then it won't fire to 75 watt, which you probably wouldn't need to anyway. But yeah, it looks okay. Doesn't it? It looks all right. Uh, I think they're like 40 as well. Pardon? They're like 40. Oh, they. Yeah. You see, that's not too bad for a full kit. You know, if you're a beginner and stuff, but you, you don't want built-in battery, you want a separate battery, and that it's not too bad. I quite is, you know, it's all right for a beginner. Yeah. Uh, next one is the Wismac Vicino, or the E-Leaf Wismac. Because, <laughs> to be fair, that button looks like the E-Leaf button. I don't know yeah. why it reminds me of the E-Leaf. Um, this is Wismac's tube type 1. Uh, it comes with the Vicino atomizer, 0.2 ohm coil. Uh, one Vecina battery, no Selenix. Obviously, it takes a separate 18650 battery. Um, yeah, it's basically there, just tube type one, isn't it? Really, it's just a tube mech with a tank on top. To be fair, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. But if you're into stuff like that and you're like, you know, a tube rather than a big modern stuff, it's Wiz Mech. We know they make good products, so could be good. Could be good. Next one is one I've been dying to show everyone because I think it's funny but also great because when you were a starter, you had all them little ego pens and stuff like that. I mean, they're really rubbish things. But this, for me, I think if you were starting out, 
I think this would be cool. And it's this. Obviously, the look of it looks horrible, but it's a 20-watt DNA. 20-watt DNA. Check this out. It's the um, Inican Aites SD20. It ha actually has you know, an evil DNA chip in it of 20 watt. It's high end mouth blown. It is high end. I mean, you know, if you want to make a statement while you're, you know, starting out vaping, this is the way to go. And I mean, it's going to be like, what, 35, something like that, 40 quid? Alex, he's all over DNA. Yeah, but it's pointless. It's pointless. <laughs> no, I'm serious. But if you were starting out, yeah, no, it's pointless because you're you're gonna go. You're gonna be a couple of weeks before you want to go higher than twenty watt. <laughs> and then what you do? You spend another forty quid on a mod, and then no one's gonna buy that. You yeah, people do. It's it's that's, that's a, where we come in. And no, what I what I mean is. You buy that as a kit, right? And you go, great, I'm new to vaping. Fantastic. Got myself a, a DNA 20. Whoop. And then you move on to something like a DNA 200. And then you put that up for sale on any Facebook page. And I <laughs> guarantee you'll get laughed at. <laughs> or I will laugh at you for it. But, but it's, yeah, but it's, look, it's got in. schools it's on the side, man. I'm sure it has. <laughs> Are you going to spend 39.99 on a decorative piece? People do. It's your recommendation. I've spent a lot don't more on much worse, and I wouldn't do it again. No, I don't like it. Four point eight volt. I bought a Vision spinner. But you know. Now no, the Vision no, spinner no. was a game changer at the time. I've got three of those bad boys. But that was back in the day before suboming became a thing. <laughs> I'm just gonna. I'll show you some. I'll come back in a sec. My computer's crashed and the screen's just going. So we'll just have to talk for a minute while uh, my computer decides to work because when it gets suddenly, it's just like, um, just talking about the vision spinner there. Yeah. Then uh, this is the new one from. Um, Joytech, which is called the Ego Twist Mega. It's got a 2,600 mile battery. And on the bottom is just like the spinner used to be. It's got um, 5 watt going up in 5, it goes 5, 10, 15, and then 30 watts on the spinner. And then it's got bypass mode as well, which basically turns it into a mech. <laughs> no way! With regulation. And it's got, it comes with the Cubis. Um, Cubist Pro Tank, which actually is pretty good. It's a big improvement on the original Cubist. It looks like a Vamo. Yeah. <laughs> it kind of looks like a lady product. Well, um, it's, 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 it, the Cubist Pro, I just got one the other day just to try out, and I've, uh, I've been having a go with it. And it's, so far, it's actually pretty good. Can you first, get first start, You want me, hey? Can you get any vape out of it? Yeah, yeah, hold on. Let's all not forget my rant at the airport when I had to use a Cubis. <laughs> Just let me put this in wedge mode. Did any of you like the original Cubis? No, I didn't. It spat, it spat too much for me. Is that your only problem with it, that it's spat too much? Yeah, in, in, in a nutshell for me, yeah. See, I, when I tried it, I filled it up with my regular liquid that I was using in my Pleto. And honest to God, it was like trying to suck water from a stone. <laughs> Just nothing. Is it that time? It was awful, mate. And that was they've, a um, wide... they've improved the top airflow on these as well now. Isn't that what they said that was going to stop all the, you know, uh, spit back and all that type of stuff? There you go, Alex. This is um, 48 watts. <clears throat> and that's just with a little, um, that's the notch pile. But the, they've improved the airflow that much that it just, it vapes well. 
any start again, you can. No, I'd see, be happy with it. That may be the difference. I wasn't using a notch coil in my cue boy. Oh, cue boy. That went wrong. Fuck. <laughs> dry here? No. It just went down <laughs> wrong. I wasn't noticing what I was doing. I was reading stuff and I just took it well wrong. You can't dry hit out. Have a look at that. Look at that cotton there. Yeah, the Nulu. Nulu. That's the Nulu, mate. Yeah, it's my favourite. I absolutely love this thing. Nulu. Yeah, the Nulu. Nulu, Nulu. I just Maybe. wish it came in a different colour. The man's bringing that black on. Muji. Yeah, we've got black and stuff. Well, you didn't tell me that, James. <laughs> oh, man, this is poor management, this one. <laughs> Tiny things from your Alex. I know. Yeah. He, he said to me last week. Him with. I, asked him, <laughs> I asked him about it last week, and I said, "What's the the Nalu like?" And he was like, "Yeah, yeah it's really good." I said, "Oh, okay. It's a shame it comes in silver." Oh uh, yeah. No <laughs> <laughs> mention of black. Yeah. <laughs> I message is make sure you put that. I'd have told him it came in green and lied. You said you told me you were going to do some more research. <laughs> I was going to do research. So you have found out it was available in black. <laughs> <laughs> but you're meant to be doing the research for him. To be fair. Well, you wanted to look into it. Pokemon came out and things happened. <laughs> <laughs> and no vaping has been done since. Not really. No. I agree there. No, mate. I, like I said, you know what I mean? The other night we were out at what, 12 o'clock at night. It was mental. There's like a sea of people with just their phones. Literally, they're all mental. Now, I guarantee you, within the next week, there will be a Facebook group that gets made, Vaping and Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first. If that group pops up, they've heard it from here. I think it's bad. Lee Island, just quick one to Lee Island, sorry. It's the Vaporetto Nalu, mate. It's an awesome RDA, uh, dual airflow or single airflow. The build deck is absolutely colossal on it. And what I love about this is it's a squonker too. You get a squonk pin with it and three drip tips. Just thrown out there. Um, <laughs> you know, it's great. I love it. It's my favourite RDA. Yeah, it just it looks like a shock Robocop. Yeah. It just looks so cool. <laughs> it reminds me of Bender. Yeah, Bender. <laughs> <laughs> it's well good though. I love it. I think the airflow flavour and everything man, is absolutely awesome. I'm going to have to get one and paint it green. Oh my god, I Yeah. Pokemon sleeves. Oh, I've seen the limitless Pokemon sleeves. Yeah, they're quite cool. Right, uh, we're going to move to James. Okay. So I know he's got uh, something to show everyone. I've got a little video for you guys. A little, little quick look video. Are we sharing? Yes, you are. Okie dokie. There we go, guys. Hey, guys. I just thought we'd do a quick video on the new uh, Elite Bipower for you guys uh, on the show. Um, okay, first out of the box, there's your Elite Bipower. This is the wood grain effect one. Uh, there's five colours to choose from. Uh, white, brush steel, uh, copper sort of look like a bronze. And, and uh, grey, and then this one. Uh, in the box, nothing too, too flash to be fair. USB cable, and an instruction book. All you need really, for nothing, nothing flash about it. Uh, chuck the box to one side, and I'll show you the back quickly. Just let you have a quick read in case you're interested. Yeah, right. Let's get the focus back on. Right, I've come on. Uh, five clicks on. There we go, 50 watts. That's a simple, quick video for you guys. Um, it does 80 watts. Roll speed's uh, not too bad at all. It just gets faster as we go through. Real quick. Now, uh, one. All the way down to one watt. Let's put this fifty ish. Okay, right. Um, menu system, pretty simple. There's a little button in the middle here. Hold it down. Bypass, hold it down again. 
Uh, this is the smart mode. Hold it down again. Uh, you got nickel, titanium, stainless steel, and presets M1, M2, M3 for your TCRs. Back to 50 watts. Uh, right, quickly show you this. So once you're in one of the TC settings, say for example where we've got a titanium coil, uh, to adjust the watch it is a bit of a pain. Um, adjusting the temperature, really easy. But to adjust the wattage, you have to hold the little button and hold the little button and press the up or down at the same time. So it's a bit of a pain this. Real fiddly. That's how you get it up. I can show you going down. That's how you do that. It's a bit of a pain to be honest. Um, and a bit of a downside to this mod. Uh, hold the plus and the minus together. Locks your uh, power up and down, or your temperature control. It's just the same as any other eye just eye stick thing, really. Um, you know, you got like stealth mode is positive, and there you go. Stealth is minus, and the fire button. Stealth off. Um, yeah, quick, just a quick look for you guys, really. Um, I've been using this for, I used it all yesterday from 8.30 in the morning, and it finally died under heavy use at 7.30, so it did 11 hours, which is pretty good for uh, for this mod. 5,000 uh, mAh built-in battery. Charge time from flat is 4 hours. Which is not too bad considering, you know, put it in overnight, the lashes through the day, uh, jobs are good. Um, right, I'm just going to pause this, we'll go back up to FaceTime, I'll stick a tank on, I'll show you quick how it vapes. And uh, then I'll say bye, and just a quick video for you just to show you what I think of it. Okay guys, here we're back. And um, right, I'm just going to a clone of the Goon RDA on top just to show you that there is a little overhang even on a 24, which is, is good. It means most tanks will fit this. I mean, there is this tiniest, not even a mil, you know, it's tiny overhang, so it's fine. 24 mil, you get away with on this. Um, I've got this set on stainless steel, because it's stainless steel wire building here. Uh, so it's 80 watts and 440 Fahrenheit. I'll give you a quick little blast on it. What you've seen, Alex. In terms of pocket friendly and stuff, it's a brilliant device. Uh, let's see, look, here's the, here's the limitless box mod. You know, it, it looks tiny compared to it. Uh, what else have we got that's pocket friendly? Something like the Aspire Plato, that's classed as pocket friendly. And it's pretty much. Well, it can't be smaller. So, yeah, there you go. Um, one thing I forgot to mention is when you stop using it for a little bit, it kind of goes into a sleep mode. So you have to press the button first, then fire it, otherwise you press it and nothing happens. So you just have to press it once and then... Good old device, for the price they are, which is like 37 quid. Um, perfect. People not wanting batteries, time to deal with that. Literally buy this mod, buy something like a cleaner, buy some juice and some coils and you're done, that's it, you're away to go, don't have to worry about anything. It should last most people the day. Um, yesterday I baked at 55 watts all day and it lasted 11 hours. So if you've got a cleaner tank in there, 45 watts, something like that, it's going to last you all day. Charge it up overnight, ready to go the next day. Hopefully that's helped you guys, give you a little insight into the uh, new iPod. I want it, I think it's a great mod. Not many others with built-in batteries that are, you know, going to beat this. Unless you buy a DNA mod, but we all know the prices of those. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope it's helped, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. I really like the look of that. Good. <laughs> yeah, I remember watching uh, Mike Vape's review on it. And I just think it's well smart. The fact that it's parallel batteries, you know, it's such a low wattage mod. 
You know what I mean? I just think it's just a perfect idea. And the fact that it's lipo in it, it's parallel lipo. Am I right? It's just a, it's a big lipo. Um, I saw that it's a bit didn't it? And it's yeah. said on, on the pack itself, 18.5 watt The sheet said what it's out with 9,500 miles. And, and it does last. I mean, 11 hours, 55 watts, pretty, pretty decent. Yeah. And you think most tanks now, what, like the clay was what? Most people use it, like me, I use it around about 45 watt. Yeah. So, 45. you know what I mean? They'd probably give me about an extra hour on top of that. So 12 hours on a mod, continuous use, that was bloody good. I mean, Christ, I put, I, I hope I'm right here and none of you shout at me, but I put some HP2s in this before because my other ones are dead, fully charged, and I've been making it a 41, look. That was literally today, about three hours ago. 1,500 miles, though, weren't they, HP2s? No, I know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got no other batteries, I need to buy more. At least you charge yours. You're a step ahead of me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you haven't charged any of yours, have you? No, mate. My batteries uh, have been... I've got, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. What, I've got 12 over there. All of them dead. <laughs> That's going to be a long wait. Yep. <laughs> yep, i got 8 bays charged. I've got 2 4 bays to charge them on, and they're just redundant at the moment. Oh, God. <clears throat> That's not good, Alex. I'm just lazy, mate. You know, Pokemon to catch. True. To True. Oh yeah, just why? Well, just why you mentioned Pokemon, Rodrigo Villa. Yeah, I think we should ban him off the page. <laughs> Showing that off, you know what I mean? There's no need for it. <laughs> right. Uh, let's move to Justin because I know you've got something to say. You've been excited about this. Going on it for days. Time to shine, mate. Yeah, I've, I've um, I've been vaping on the vape shakes. On uh, I've got the 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 full line tube. But as members of vape bitches, after this show, I will be putting up the full line. So you get the tube, of the full free line of juices, and. If I can get it to focus, you can read the menu. If, if I will be putting this up on the page shortly after we've got it, and you will get the full line, three of the literally it's the newest Twelve Monkeys line, and it vapes a dream. Nice. So how long is the comp going to run for? Well, we on the page. Yeah, we're almost saying how long you're running for a week? I'll run it for about a week, yeah. Yeah? And then shortly after, we'll be having uh, a possibility of some sort of call cool master deal. There might be another giveaway. Nice. It's just, even the admins don't know about this yet. It'll be another no. little giveaway. And okay. it'll be another little, little juice giveaway. Keep your eyes clear. Nice. <laughs> so That's good. Well, I'll be entering that straight away, so as soon as you put it out, let me know. Because I want to win it. Maybe we should just, you know... Take everyone's name out and just put our own in. I don't think uh, people <laughs> like that, mate. Personal joke, mate. Personal joke. <laughs> <laughs> uh, obviously, yeah, there's a nice giveaway. I can't wait to try and get into that one, like, because uh, it sounds really you're nice. Not, you're not having it. It's so mine. <laughs> uh, see, he's changing his mind now, isn't he? <laughs> Enter again and keep it for myself. When I first saw that tube, I thought you just had posters in it or something. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at it, and I was like, if you look on, didn't realize they did vaping posters. It looks quite smart, though. I like that little cut thing that comes in. It's quite smart. 
Yeah, it does look nice. Yeah. Hopefully Thank we'll you. win it. You can you can enter it as much as you want. You ain't winning it because I'll, I'll put a little ban on it. Admins not a, a enter. Well, that's just wrong, isn't it? That's biased. That is. Yeah. You know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a nice giveaway. That made fair play. That's a really good one. So uh, yeah, anyone on watching, keep your eyes out. It's YouTube. It's going to cost me more to send it. Not the nice big tube. Yeah, I like it. Fair play. I know Ian yeah, Smith. Discrimination it. right there, mate. It's bad, isn't it? <laughs> uh, I know James has currently got a comp as well running. Yeah, that one's running, guys. If you uh, spend over ten pounds on the site this month, I've got to win that. Rabs. And as of tomorrow, our discount code changes to ten percent for members. Ten uh, percent. Yes, ten percent. Just in time for the E Fusion duo. It's got a ten percent. I've had my eyes on that triad. And some batteries. And some batteries, yeah, triad and batteries. <laughs> Uh, got to charge them. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's bad, isn't it? It's it's just like it's making you work, mate. I know. I'm beyond lazy. lazy. Uh, oh, mate. Any anything with effort, forget it. Unless it's catch a Pokemon with to drive around in my car, I mean, which is also even lazy. Yeah, but you know the worst bit, right? And I, I know we keep coming back to it. It's not even vape related, but. I can't be bothered to charge batteries, but I will go for a mile and a half walk to catch Pokemon. What is <laughs> wrong with the world? <laughs> That's what you need to ask. Yeah, like I said, and to hatch an egg. It doesn't even work, mate. I walked way over five kilometres today, and my egg didn't hatch. Mine, mine hatched. <laughs> me, 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 me. <laughs> <laughs> egg hatched. This is the jealousy now. This is where the war comes out. <laughs> she only got, what did you get? It was a little crappy thing. It no, was. I've got drowsy in the egg. Yeah, she's got drowsy. Oh, drowsy loves my house. I think he knows that I'm here. Yeah. you got me. Yeah, probably. <laughs> We've got a Pokemon, and I've got, I'm living in the roughest area going, at Plymouth, and I'm walking around going, I've got to take the kids. I'm stealing kids now uh, to walk with me to get Pokemon stops. <laughs> <laughs> It's wrong. He standing there going, I need to catch some Pokemon. <laughs> like, Do you want Pokemon? Yeah, right, come with me. We'll have a little walk. We'll, we'll fucking get the Pokemon stops. <laughs> <laughs> no, we shouldn't joke about that. He's standing there. I'm respecting the rough man over the area. And I've got him I'm walking around with Pokemon. So. On a, on a vaping related note, um, what's what's the score with the E fusions, James? The duo. Uh, they won't be here till the end of the month, mate. Possibly um, beginning of next. Just that's when my supplier's getting them. So. Do you know what colours you're having in? <laughs> green. Uh, <laughs> they do green. No, they do. They do uh, red, blue, silver, black, and then you have a choice of whether you want. Carbon fiber panels, leather panels, or the like seashell style panels. Well, it's, it's obviously going to be leather. On, on another note, they do an, uh, a DNA 200 green squonker. The, is it the Halicon, isn't it? Or something like that. I don't know, mate, but it, it, it's saved on my phone. Yes, <laughs> it is. It's the Halicon. <laughs> <sighs> You can't get away from the magpie, can you? No, no. I'll get a green goon then. <laughs> they don't do a squonk pin for it though. Huh? They don't do a squonk pin for the goon. Ah, that's alright. You don't have to use it as a squonk. I just want it green. The squonk is <laughs> <don't it? laughs> Matchy, matchy. Yeah, that's it, mate. Matchy, matchy. Like I said, I bought a goon from James the other day. Um, and... 
I haven't used it yet. It's still in the box. But that's just me being lazy again. I will use it <laughs> at some point. But in the near future. The I've heard good things. It's just to go on my scoundrel. So I'll have a red scoundrel, black goon, red tip, like a boss. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it'd be good, mate. It'd be good. Well, while we're on RDAs, um, Richard, was it Richard Walker, I think? Yes. Yes, Richard Walker asked, I want to know the best and easiest RDA out there to build on. Got a few like a Kennedy clone, which I find impossible to build on, but considering the goon, are they easy to use? Well, personally, I've had the goon, I've had twisted messes, I've had a velocity and all that. I like the value. <laughs> it's so easy to build on. The post holes are massive. I mean, the red I don't. You won't be able to see them, obviously. Well, you might be able to, but they're huge. And the deck is massive, and it's just massive, and flavour and clouds are great, massive, and just everything's awesome on it. And it's cheap. It's, what, 24 quid, some like that? The Goon. Yeah. The Goon, I love the Goon. Right. If you've got a massive build, you can put any, literally any type of build in there. You can put dragon scales, anything like that, in there. If you've got... Uh, I'm a, I'm a big fan of parallels, so I, I'll have a, t a twist it with a single coil. When you've got a single coil, it's not so good because you've got to try and get that clamp down. As they clamp down, it's not so good then because you can't get the the proper clamp down on the coil. On you, if you've got big massive builds like uh, aliens or I've just got my little, my little tool out again. Big builds, like dragon scales. A single wire, they're brilliant. You can't see that, I can do my, my little clicky bit. They're brilliant if it's one wire. If you've got a power out and you've got a single wire coming through, you've got to clamp it down. So it's not so good. And they won't sponsor me, so fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> Right, uh, next question was from Mark Denton. Can't comment on the video again, which obviously it must be your phone or something, mate. Get a better one. Ask Alex, he's really good with deals and stuff. Um, I'm a bit behind the times, but what do you guys think of the TFV, TFV Micro and the HBRIV, and what's the best calls for the TFV Micro? Well, from what I've heard on the HBRIV, it's like a, it's like two sides of it. Some people are saying it's amazing, and some people are saying that it's crap and it, oh, the chip overheats and comes up with protect the mod and stuff like that. It's, but then others are saying it's really, really good. And the TF Micro, I have no idea. I think James will be better to answer that one. Yeah, I've used the TF Micro. It's quite a good little tank. Chokes quite well. I've got quite an echo in my voice, you know, for Um. Yeah, it's the best coil I think is the micro clap to two coil out of the out of the two because I think there's only really three options. One's a mouth tongue, one's stainless steel, and one's the Clapton. The Clapton ones. I can see a smock thing in the background over your shoulder, James. You're right I want this nice, right. lovely, uh, famous YouTube shoulder. <laughs> well, <laughs> left shoulder, sorry. Oh, this shoulder. It's a TFB8 box, but it's all it is. Uh, Which are a beast of the tank. Yeah, I got one there. Alex doesn't like them. No. Nah. I don't, mate. I, do you know what? I've just got this unhealthy attachment to the Cleto, and I can't get rid of it. Um, and I had the Eagle from, from James. Uh... I think I ordered it at like 3 o'clock on Friday and it was here Saturday, so I was well impressed again. Um, and my tank saga continues. I still can't get it to go right without it weeing itself out the air holes, but we'll, we'll, we'll get there. But it's a good tank. The new Eagle from Geek Vape, I would highly recommend. Um, just take the bit of... It's a bit more than just putting the stock coil in that you, you think you're just buying a stock coil and it'll work. You do need to <clears throat> give it a bit of a prod and move the um, move the cotton around a bit. Make sure it's all 
as an RTA would be. But yeah, good good tank. It's it's better flavor than the Cleto. So if I can get over my leaking issues, that will be my my day to day tank. Nice. I reckon. Sweet. Sounds good. Uh, apparently, James, um, Mr. Walker is going to buy a goon off here on Friday. So now it's live. He has to. He's got no choice but go back. He can't. Well, he has to yeah. buy one. Man. If he doesn't, we'll ridicule him on the next live show. <laughs> Why didn't you buy a goon? You said you were going to buy one. This is not fair. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> right. Uh, I'm going to go on a bit of a serious note now. Um... Obviously, it's a bit away from vaping kind of thing, but um, the creator of Vape Riches, uh, Richie Matteo, um, I spoke to him before. Now, um, we put up a post quite a while back um, for his mum, a GoFundMe page, um, because obviously, as we all know, in the admin chat, um, not many people know on the page, I don't think, um, his mum was diagnosed with cancer. Um, she's currently battling it and winning, which is fantastic news. And obviously, all the admins and everyone else wishes her the best. Um, but I just want to put it out there: the GoFundMe page that was set up, which I'm going to put a link up after this show. I'm going to re really put it up to the top of the page and stuff. Um, was because obviously Richie Mam lives in Canada. Now over there, they don't get the help they do like they would here. Do you know what I mean? So obviously. With, she's like a really strong woman, do you know what I mean? And you know she's worked her entire life and stuff like that. But with this, obviously she can't work, and she's obviously taking all her time to battle this cancer and stuff like that. So obviously Richie, you know, put it out there. His mum had a right go at him over it for doing it, but he's kind of just <laughs> gone. You know what? I don't care. You know, it's time to, you know, ask back type of thing. Do you know what I mean? Because obviously Richie, throughout the time of Vape Riches, has gave a lot of weight to the page. He's helped a lot of people out. Do you know what I mean? And I think, you know what I mean, it'd be great if people can help back. I mean, you know what I mean? It'll cost a pound, two pounds. Do you know what I mean? Anything will help. So I'm just putting out there now, you know, I'm going to put the link over. So if you've got anything, you know what I mean? doesn't matter how much it is. If you can put it to it and just show Richie's mum that the vape community is awesome and that, you know, she's not fighting it alone. Because obviously, I think everyone, well, most people, sorry, have been affected by cancer. You know what I mean? You know, it's been a family member, it's been someone you know, a friend or something like that. And we all know how hard it is to go through that. So imagine being that person who is actually going through it. So I'm just putting out there now, obviously, you know. Let's just show someone who's going through this that there is a community out there who's willing to help and, you know, put a smile on the face. So I'll put the link up after the page and, you know, I'm going to obviously on here now wish Richie's mum all the best and hope she finally does be this completely and gets completely clear. And, yeah, so I'll put the link up afterwards, guys, and hopefully we can raise enough money. Um, I think currently raised is $662, which is absolutely amazing. And thank you to everyone who's obviously, you know, raised that amount at the moment. So that's just there. I just thought I'd uh, put that out there. Uh, Richie is stubborn black. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> On fucking YouTube. <laughs> And his his mum's exactly the same. She's stubborn. She's, I don't want any help. I'm I'm very close with Richie, and we chat quite a lot. And she's she's very stubborn. The same as he is. I'm not accepting help because I don't. It takes a strong person to ask for help. And putting it out there, I love it. For the big family, it's it's just great to see that we've got so many people want to get involved on things, and we're genuine. We're not we're not we're not gonna fucking turn around and go no I don't want it. you know, take your money. Let's do a raffle. Oh, of that. Sorry, I'm not gonna swear. <laughs> but you get you. What you've put into it, you put into it for yourself. You don't put into it for for this back. I want this back. Competition-wise, if that makes sense. 
Yeah. I'm from, I'm from my nub back on the show. Well, I'll tell you what we can do. Um, <laughs> because whenever you make a donation, your name appears. And Richie can see that. So, everyone who donates, and you, you don't have to donate a lot, you know, a sensible amount, a couple of quid. Um, we will, two weeks' time from today, I'll get Richie to give me all the names, and I will give somebody a goon from James, um, and I'll pay for that. Nice. And all you've got to do is donate a couple of quid, more if you're charitable enough and you're in a position to do so. Don't put yourself out. That's not what I want. Um, and we'll give someone a goon. I think that's a nice thing to do. And gives a bit of an incentive to do it. Not that it's needed, but, you know, we'll do it. Yeah? Nice, nice. Yeah, that's working. Well, if you're giving away a goon, make it more interesting. I'll add some wire to it for him. Well, there we go. Yeah. I'll add like a couple of rolls, maybe some uh, camphor, maybe some Clapton or something. Yeah. How does that sound? That's awesome, mate. Yeah? Yeah, definitely. There we go. Then sound. I'll add one of Fuck it. I'll add to Alex's giveaway. I'll do my famous six. Coils. Oh. Nice. I'll make you my famous six coils. Yeah, and I'll go, that, that's worth give 20 quid on their own. <laughs> yeah. So, there we go. Can't ask for more than that, guys. No, you can't. Fair dues, there we go. I think Richie's going to be happy. <laughs> I hope so. He gives a lot to the page. Yeah. And obviously, if you don't mind, guys, um, obviously because of what the cause is and stuff like that, if you don't mind sharing it, you know what I mean, on your, just on your personal Facebook page, if you don't mind, it's not a requirement, but, you know, if you don't mind sharing it about and just obviously, you know, spreading the love for Richie's mum, showing her that, you know what I mean, we are a massive community, do you know what I mean? There's no matter about it. You, you join the group, you can argue as much as you want, you, it won't be allowed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, Richard, um, Ian, sorry to cut you off just a minute, I apologise, um, Ian Smith, fair play to you mate, this is awesome if you get mate, um, he said I will add 100 ml of juice of choice from what I have if needed. That's really kind. That's awesome mate, thank you very much thank mate, you. that's wicked mate, really appreciate it. Yeah, so sound. And anyone who's already donated, your names will go in as well. Don't worry about that. Your names will go in. But obviously, if you wish to add a bit extra, that would be awesome. That would be incredible. But um, I will put up the link in a bit. Well, what I'll do is I've already done a post, so I'll bump the post up to the top of the page, and uh, it'll be there for everyone. So uh, awesome. Well, that's wicked. I think that's awesome. Don't forget, just after... You can jump on this. Yeah, the milk wake. Bake shake. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking milk wake. It's <laughs> <laughs> awesome to get on. Have we um have we talked about swag sauce at all today? No, we, but it's well nice. It's nice. Yeah, yeah, I I've nice. got to give it props. Um, I bought. Uh, Joker. Now, anybody who knows me knows I do not do anything with cream or anything like that at all. But Joker, Joker. is oh, it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, I've got that on my TV8 right now. It's, it's so smooth. And it's like a real strawberry. Yeah. I mean, that's it's like... not like a fake one. Oh, I love it, mate. Absolutely love it. And the... Um, the citrusy one. Oh, Cereal Ninja. No. High voltage? Yes. Yeah, that's, that's I, I can't all day vape it, but I can vape it for, you know, four or five hours and um, and I need to change them. But it's a nice refreshing one. Wakes you up. It's nice. I just want to pull my screen up a sec just to show off something. Can I, I can't even grab them properly. 
Have you got the whole collection? I've got four bottles of it. <laughs> and they're not all the same. Look, high voltage to Joker. <laughs> Sugar Skull, which is nearly empty because that's my favourite. It's gorgeous. And Serial Ninja. Yeah, I've got three of them, but I'm um, not, not getting on with Joker at the moment, but that's just um, my issue at the moment. I will get on to it once I feel a bit better. Yeah. But it's lovely stuff. James, come on. You've I think James is going to have to order more flavours soon. No, James needs to unmute himself. <laughs> hey, well, uh, no, he's still can't hear him. He's, on he's mute. talking about swag sauce. We can't hear him. <laughs> <laughs> James, you're on mute. We can't hear you. There you go. No, your speakers are gone. Oh, his microphone's gone. He'll come back in. Don't worry, guys. Um, but yeah. Anyway. Emma, my miss, she absolutely loves high voltage, don't you? Can I turn the camera? Oh, God, me. There you go. High voltage. Yes, high voltage has actually turned into my new all-day vape. Um, uh, it's like a cool hit. It's no... It, do you know like you get menthols and stuff like that? It's nothing like that. It's just a nice, cool hit. And to me, slightly tastes like palm of violets. And the other one that I use alongside that is the Cereal Ninja. And that has got a beautiful lemon taste to that yeah. one. So if you like lemony vapes or even cool vapes or anything like that, Zero Ninja and High Voltage, definitely. Definitely. See, with High Voltage, yeah, I, I don't get Palm of Violets. Yeah, that's what we were getting from it. It tastes like Palm of Violets. No, no, I don't get Palm of Violets. Oh, don't you? We do. We get the Palm of Violets. I get, like, um, the green, almost like a lemon and lime... Like a fizzy lemon and lime with me. Yeah. It's really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, mm. It's really nice. If that's can not you know? to buy a bottle of fire. Yeah. Yes, we can hear you, mate. Wait. Finally. Yeah, I don't want to be biased, but it is good juice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. You need, you need yeah. new flavours, James. <laughs> it might come my way. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, just out of interest, how many did you sell on the promo, James? Do you know? Uh, no. no. Probably, Probably about, about 50, 50, 50, I would have said. That's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's because for a hundred, I agree. Well, if you look, you know, if you look around, yeah, on the market at the moment, an average price of what thirty mil is about what eleven, twelve quid for premium e-liquid, like. So if you want to buy hundred and twenty mil, that's about what forty-eight quid. Forty-eight quid for hundred and twenty mil. Mm. You know, I mean, that's the average price. Well. <laughs> When I went to the States and I looked at a vape shop there, they had a 120 mil science beaker thing of elements fresh food, and the guy wanted $90 for it. I almost fainted. Yeah. I swear to God, that, that's just extortionate. It really is. <laughs> And yes, Lee, mate, everyone's taste buds are different. <laughs> I agree there. But um, I ain't even being biased either, do you know what I mean? We get, we don't get anything for, you know what I mean, saying this juice is nice. You know what I mean? I can show you my receipts of buying all this. But that's the sugar school there, nearly empty. Right? That high voltage there. Right? This is the second bottle, by the way. Right? Loads gone. That, no, that was... Sorry. That was the Joker, sorry. Hang on. That's the second bottle of high voltage. And that's Serial Ninja. Now... Right, Serial Ninja, yeah. Yeah, I really love it. It's in my clear. Oh. Look. That's got the Joker in it. That's got Sugar Skull. And the clear. Oh, it's got uh, Serial Ninja. 
Cleator with high voltage, limitless for Serial Ninja. Yes, sir. We're not getting it. No. Otherwise, James is out of business. <laughs> yeah, that's right. A lot. He's buying it from. <laughs> yeah. Dipping it in, but we actually we don't get this stuff for free. What we give away, we're actually paying for it. We don't get the like, bits given to us and sent. To us. I do get things sent to me, like hence so I got. Uh, I paid for. Vape fix, which I've got for myself, and I've got a giveaway by Vape fix, but we actually pay for these things. We don't turn around and go, I'll have it, I'll have it for free. And we actually do things for ourselves to give to you as as groups and members. Which makes sense. Of well, case in point, I mean, I pay, I bought. Um, 60 ml Richie's juice yesterday for my competition to send to Dan Rowe for the Euro competition. You did? So that's on his way now. And then we've got the competition that we're doing. Well, not competition, just a slight incentive for, for Richie's good cause. You know, and then when James does giveaways practically every week, that comes out of his own uh, investment in his products. It's a lot. It's a lot of money that we put into this group to to keep it going. Yeah. James goes in. Do you know, massive, massive big up to James in respect to James. He gives massive amounts uh, for a, a, a slow return. James gives massive amounts for slow returns. Uh, but he does it for respect of the fact of he has, he is a genuine fucking seller, a uh, genuine vendor. You get looked after by J James. If if something goes wrong with James, he'll sort you out. He doesn't do it for the return. He does it for the the love of the fact of this is made all of X. You definitely get the aftercare. That's for sure. <laughs> I can attest. Oh yeah. I, I remember when I got the first ever time I bought batteries off you. There was a tiny little nick. It didn't even literally. It was just like with like you know what I mean. Something's pressed on it. Didn't even rip the battery or nothing. None of the battery, you know, sleeve or nothing was ripped. And I said to James, "Oh, there's a dent in it. Is this okay to use? Because obviously it was the first time I used. No one to make sure I was safe." And he's like, "Ah, goes yeah, yeah, it's sound. But do you want me to send you a new one?" I was like, "No, nah, it's safe to use, man. I'm fine." No, no, I've got, I said, no, no, it's all right, mate. It's, it's, you said it was fine. I'll use it. Oh, I'll send you some um, battery wraps instead, then, and send me some battery wraps. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You know, you pay for you pay for the customer service. Do you know what I mean? And to be fair, if you look at his prices, they're not expensive. It's respect. You can get cheap. You can get cheap. I can get cheap from fucking China. No problem. I can get cheap from China. I can get cheap from wherever. But it's the, your customer services. If something goes wrong, and I know for a fact, 100%, James will replace it. Oh, yeah. I'm not saying ready to go, it broke a little bit, I'll message James, and he'll replace it. If it's a genuine reason, and genuine fault, James will replace it. Well, you, I mean, you look, you talk about James's pricing. I mean, you look at what, what did I buy, James? Help me out. Uh, a goon, an eagle. A tornado nano and a bottle of Joker. Yeah, and what did it come to? Uh, it was about seventy-nine pounds, I think. You can't ask for better than that. You go into any B and M kind of thing, and I know they're more expensive, but you know, yeah, within reason you go. Yeah, you know, you're covering your costs. I may have got. 50 percent, well, 120 bottle, uh, mil bottle of juice probably would have cost me 50 quid. <laughs> so you know, you but you look at some people's online prices and they're just disgusting. So you can, I uh, I'm not doing promotion or anything like that, but James is fucking is fucker. He's he's got fucking rocket pigeons for a start. I don't think he's a beat. And customer services. Well, 
You can't. I, I'm not just doing promotion. I mean, I don't. I'll buy off. Well, I don't buy off anybody other than James. Well, I don't think we need to promote him in the fact that, I mean, if you look at how many pages are asking James to sponsor them. Yeah, yeah I got a message actually two days ago. <laughs> and James, to be fair to him, refuses them all in He's in just to stay with us. Big riches. Yeah, that, that's <laughs> a testament on its own. So, you know, it's it's all that's good. Love, uh, all good. I did not know but it means you're the fucking hand thing you got. Yeah, I'll show them that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, while, we're, while I remember, because I, I nearly forgot, um, was it two weeks ago when I when we announced the non would be a sponsor for a month? Yeah. Um, the, yeah, so things happened, um, and just basically complete confusion between me and um, one of their, their <laughs> guys that they... They put me in, in contact with to sort everything out. Um, it is going to happen. It's just a bit of a, um, a slight language barrier um, at the moment and just things being misun misunderstood. But it will go ahead. It will happen. And I'm hoping that it will happen by Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday coming that we'll have a competition up from them. And they'll be live for one month only. So that'll be good for the group. Just one month. See how everyone goes with it. But yeah, that, that will happen. I promise. Sweet. That's good. Um, there's been a lot of... I was going to say, I'll give you a little surprise thing. Because obviously I've got twins on the way. Yeah. I'm going to put a little conversation up for me. And guess if it, guess if baby's weight combined baby's weight. <laughs> I wouldn't want to play because I, I may guess too much. And then you're going to say you calling my kids fat. And, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm probably best off out of this. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'll put a little competition up combine the baby weights. If you can combine, if you can get the weight right, combine the two babies. Right. If you win it, if you get near enough, I don't expect anybody to get it spot on. If you get it, I'll send you. What should I send you? I'll send you 200 mils of juice. How much? 200 mil. Okay, so I'll send you from. I can't promote it too much because it's a uh, homebrew sort of ish. I'll send you 200 mils of juice. Nice. Help her baby. I send you 200 mils of juice if it's from a homebrewer. I can't send it, like, doesn't promote it too much, but it'll probably be something like a bottle like that and another bottle like that. Cool. I like that. Well, I'll put it on the page. Nice. It's so loads of cops. Yeah. Just, I'll send you 200 mils of, or two bottles, 100 ml bottles. Nice. Well, as we're on competition and stuff like that, um, I'm not sure if you wanted me to mention it or not, like, but um, suck it might as well. Jess, or admin, who's basically a pain in the arse, right, yeah, has decided to get all our baby pictures, yeah, literally all of our lit baby pictures, right, She's going to put a comp up. Um, I think it's for some juice off James, I believe. Or something like that. Some juice from somewhere or something like that. And basically, it's going to be guess the admin off the baby pictures. So it's just a fun little comp. I think it's going to run for like a week or something like that. And it's just just get the page active and stuff like that. So, uh, And this is coming out of Jess's own pocket. So fair play to Jess. Um, and, yeah, we're all going to have our baby pictures plastered all over Bait riches. So and that should be fun. And basically, whoever gets the most yeah, yeah. or gets them all right will go into a randomizer with all of them getting yeah. right, and then a winner will be picked. Yeah, that's right. The ladies, the it could be James. Who knows? Yeah, that's it. So there's, a, there's quite a few comps coming up, guys. So keep your eyes out. 
Um, I don't think there's any more questions at the moment. Like, I'm just having a look through the live chat. Um, lots of uh, respect for James, which is great to see. Thank you. Where, where are you looking? In the live chat on the YouTube. You can only use your mobile app now to do it. The mobile app? Yeah. Oh, well, this is new. Hold on. If you, if you go onto our stream, right? Sorry, guys. If you go onto our stream, and then say at the bottom, live chat, you just click it up, and it shows you what everyone's talking about now. Well, I didn't know that. I can Let's get involved, something new every day. Uh, yeah. I can't find it. Are you on our stream? Oh, yeah. Alex, you even subscribed to us. Well, like just now. You need to follow us. I'm watching it live, but I can't see any comments. Well, it should just be when you click on the live stream. It should be at the bottom. Should be a bit right at the bottom of the page that says live chat. No, all I get is Cameron hums after departure announcement. <laughs> I don't think that's it. <laughs> no? Well, I'll try to sort out for next time. Yeah, it'd be nice to... I never get involved with it, so it'd be nice. Yeah, yeah. My phone's that bad with internet, you know what I mean? Yeah, I can't follow the live chat. I've probably got people on there calling me an idiot, but... <laughs> no, no, just someone saying they want to wait to see you do a dry hit again. Oh, man. <laughs> no, it wasn't even a dry hit. Everyone keeps saying that to me, like, oh, that dry hit looked bad. It wasn't a dry hit. I should clarify <laughs> that. It was just that the tank is such a monster. I wasn't expecting, especially at 150 watt, I wasn't quite expecting it to kick as hard as it did. <laughs> and it was like my all-day vape juice as well. It wasn't like I put juice in that I've never vaped before and hoped for the best. It was, um, it was my all-day vape. Is it, you playing Xbox? He's playing Xbox while you're live. No. No, live. We just seen your remote. No, Did that's you... my. It's my. It's my vape. It's your vape. He's got an Xbox vape. Go on, then. Let's see you take a hit from it. Battery's dead. You didn't charge it. <laughs> Battery's are dead, mate. Didn't charge it. <laughs> what game are you playing? I'm on Call of Duty, mate. Although I'm just, I'm trying to concentrate on this and talk. It's yeah, it's not going well. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm getting my ass handed to me at the moment. But um, yeah, no, it wasn't a dry hit. I swear to God, if it was a dry hit, you'd know. But um, I mean, these guys have seen me um, drip 18 mil, uh, 24 mil. <laughs> <laughs> you nearly passed out. Um, I remember that. Literally, you left us straight away. You were like, "I'm going there." <laughs> um, it was so funny. Yeah, no, it wasn't as bad as, as dripping. 24 mil, uh, milligram. That's bad. Don't do that. Do not try that. Um, and if Justin brings you a cricket and does it, don't do it. <laughs> Just don't do it. You, Justin really wants someone to do 24 milligram on a cricket, don't he? Ah, the admins, anyway. I'm doing We're not it advising expo, anyone but... to try this. I'm doing it at the expo, mate. Right? Expo. He's got them by like, your favourite juice at the expo, full line. Yeah. Oh, oh, I got kicked from my game. Um, on a note, with, with the expo, my I don't friends know where people are going. To 18 milligram. Right. It looks, it looks set here. Right? I'll get them to do you the 0.12. I'll get them to send me the line, right, just for you to vape. Who, me? Pick a, what, 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 what do you fancy? Do you fancy... Let's pick strawberry. All right, I'll do it at Xbox. Yeah. We'll do it live. Yeah. We'll do one point eight milligram nicotine. Yeah, we'll do it. Yeah, you pick a you pick a flavour, right? And I'll get under to our Xbox. Do do the strawberry. Strawberry. We'll do strawberry. I don't mind killing Stra myself over strawberries. Refreshing strawberry, rhubarb, complimentary sweet with vanilla, cheesecake, finished with cracker crumbs. Nah. Mm, go, go, yeah, we'll go strawberry. 
and I will do that at the expo to my to my own detriment. And we'll put it live to pay riches from the expo. We'll do a live stream, all of us together. Watch Alex kill himself. <laughs> <laughs> He's devastated though. You said it live, Alex. You can't go back, mate. No, I'll do it, mate. I'm a man of my word. Don't you say. I do some now, but I haven't got a dripper that's like wicked. That I, I literally, before I left the states, I just pulled everything out of my drippers, and I haven't touched them since. That's Otherwise, true. I'd do it for you now. Don't you say. Just throw some cotton in it and just go bang. <laughs> Throw some cotton in it and just go bang. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like contraceptive talk from the sixties. <laughs> <laughs> oh DL. Oh, fun times, eh? Uh, right, guys. Uh, I think that's it. No news. Yeah, I think I think we've covered everything. I don't know. Are there any more questions before we go? What's that? Sorry. I said I think we've covered everything, but yeah, I think more? we have. Yeah, um, there's no more questions or anything. So, big recap, just to, so everyone can know again in case they forgot, because of obviously the Pokemon talk, the Call of Duty, and you dry hitting some liquid uh, live uh, expo. Yep, I'm not gonna forget that one. Um, we have the uh, Twelve Monkeys New Range giveaway. Um, I'm gonna be doing uh, putting up the link for Richie's uh, GoFundMe for his mum. Um, and a load of comps coming up. Also, James has a live comp on his website for 10 prizes, which are awesome. And all you have to do is spend £10 or more, and your name gets put in. The more you spend, obviously, the more orders you play, the more times your name gets put in. And there's about, what, two and a half weeks left, James? <laughs> yeah? He's gone again. His voice is gone again. <laughs> Three weeks left. Three weeks left, guys. Three weeks left. Right. Can, James, nod your head if this is correct, because I, I can't remember. Is it one entry per ten pound or one entry per order? One entry for ten pound. All right, guys, you're not going to win then, because I've already won. I've got so many entries. <laughs> <laughs> and if the E-Fusion duo comes in, well, you all may as well just go home. Oh, but Alex, I've been buying these range of Jesus and everything. Oh, competition. A like big it. competition, man. I'm pl- I've got my eye on a triad, mate. Uh, how much is the triad, James? 120, how I much, think. How much is the duo? £40. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll have 10. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think the duos aren't about the same price, to be fair. Um, Ian Smith said to Alex... To message him some near, sometime near the end of the, uh, the show for the juice. I, I messaged him. Okay, he's messaged you. <laughs> he's messaged you. He messaged, oh yeah, he's just sent me a picture. Damn. Ian, you need to start vaping some of that juice, mate. That's four or five. Yay, we can hear him again. Sorry, it's not order. one one entry per tenner. It's one entry per order. Oh. <laughs> I've made loads. I've done about 20 orders. James, can you send me an e-fusion bit by bit? I know, yeah. Um, yeah, Ian sent me a photo, and it looks like there's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, like 12 bottles of what looks like 50 mil. And one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven bottles of what looks like a hundred mil of juice. I don't know if we can. Hold on. Bloody hell. That's a lot of juice. Yeah, I think he did only say a hundred mil though. Oh yeah, I know. But he needs to start vaping it, mate. I know he does, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, guys, uh, I think that's it, and we've done a recap, so keep an eye on the page, because obviously Justin's <laughs> comp's going to go up straight after this live show, pretty much. I will be uh, putting up, well, re-bumping my go, uh, the GoFundMe for Richie's mum, and keep your eyes out over the next week or two for obviously the other competition stuff, and uh, I put up a post a couple of weeks, a few days ago, um, 
about doing this show every two weeks. <laughs> Obviously, we've had a talk in that and stuff through the admin chat, and we're still talking about it, but for now, oh, until God, obviously yeah, yeah. we've decided, we'll keep it weekly for now. So, obviously, we'll do it next Sunday and stuff, but we're going to have a talk with the admins now, because obviously, a lot of us are really busy, and um, obviously, it's hard to actually, you know, get all the shows coming in each week because the products and stuff like that, it's really hard. But for the time being, it's going to be keeping weekly, so next Sunday. 8.30 same time, there will be another live show. It might not be the same admins. We're going to throw a bit of a mix and match and stuff like that. And Justin, but I'm, and one more thing, I'm going to buy a buzzer. You know one where it beeps when someone swears? Because Justin just loves to go... <laughs> you can't talk. I don't swear. Not when we're live, you don't. But when we're not, not when we're live, no, because I can control myself. I, I can compose myself. Yeah, well, yeah. Live, I use all the words. I mean, a certain person got called, what, see you until about 40 times? <coughs> oh, rock my iPad then. Um, go, going on to um, what David said, I think what, what we could do, if, if you guys could message me, um, I'm the boring one of the page, and uh, wow, I've got a close-up of Justin's face there. I know, <laughs> um, scary. If, if you guys could, like, just... Send me a message and just say what you want to see on the on the show. So, you know, I I've got no problem if I buy something from James, keeping it like until the show, and then just like opening it on the show, <coughs> and then watch me fail as I try to get it to work. Like common. <laughs> Any um, RTA. Yeah, yeah, RTAs, mate. I'm, I'm giving up. You want to see me? That's, that's, what, that's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> um. And, yeah, just let us, let us know what you want to do with it. Because if we're going to keep doing it weekly, then we need to know what you what you want to see. Because no. we, there's, there aren't enough new stuff coming out every week for us to keep talking about it. And we're not going to keep talking about the same stuff over and over again because that, that's boring. So, tell us. Tell me. Yeah, yeah. Justin looks like he's fell in love with someone. <laughs> Danny. He's like, oh, so pretty. <laughs> oh, great. Justin, apparently you just made a two-year-old cry. <laughs> Ian Smith said, thanks, Justin. You just made my two-year-old cry. Did he scare his Pokemon off? I think so, yeah. Mm. <laughs> No, Pokemon is down at the moment. Oh, yeah, that's right. right. Not on it. Which is like, why? It's, it was down all day yesterday as well. That's why we're all doing. That's why we're doing this live stream because Pokemon ain't on. Yeah. <laughs> um, one, one more thing. If anybody, this is such a cheeky plug. If anybody is wanting to trade any mods or anything let me know because I have I just looked at my shelf and I've got like 10 more mods that I want to get rid of that I don't use so cheeky plug I've got a lovely beaten up coal fire I can trade you for something no <laughs> <laughs> you need to play along for crying out loud man. sorry mate <laughs> no literally I use I use that every day which is my beautiful E-Fusion. In Hulky Green. Oh, oh. Oh, you actually charged that one? Yeah, uh, yeah, look. Well, ish. <laughs> but, it's nearly uh, dead. Uh, yeah, in my like defence, this has been going since yesterday. So, <laughs> and it's got passed through, so it's, it's golden. And once I get another one off James, you'll see me with a new colour. be amazing. But in the meantime, I'm, I'm looking for new stuff, so hit me up. Nice, cheeky plug. My wife, my wife was just telling me she was like a heifer. And I said, Are you still alive? I said, Yeah. I thought you were going to say you were going to trade your wife then, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> I'll trade you. Um, Alex, didn't you win a mod? Oh, yes, I did. Um, hold on. I've got to go through my messages now. Uh, Let's fight for mind you before we leave. Yes, I did. I won a Spartan 300 watt mod. 
and I got it from Fogtopia, and it, it's it's the group that's run by uh, Mark Allen and Steve Murray. Um, so big up to them. I won that comp, and they got it out to me super fast. I think I had it in like two days from the competition ending, and that was they shipped it from whatever. I don't know who, what company or supplier it came from, um, but it came. It took me ten minutes to open it. It was packaged that tightly, so that was cool. Um, hey, yeah, nice. Many times. So thanks for that. Nice. Jim, What's up, Justin? Up so fucking tight. You are. Jim's many times. You said his hips are so fucking tight. <laughs> it wasn't he's me. Been, uh, he's been learning from James. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. James, have you got a fucking right. seat going there? Because you're really cloudy. I've just clicked on <laughs> it, it's just mist. I'm just vaping there. <laughs> what mod are you using, James? Uh, the it's eye power. Oh, right. I thought you had to try it on the go. Can I ask? Uh, you, no, I've got both. Is the, the wood effect, is it just like a wrap, or does it actually feel like wood effect? No, it doesn't feel like wood effect. It's like an uh, aluminium body. But it's not a wrap. Okay, so it's still good quality then. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a wrap, so you can't like scratch it or anything. It's, uh, it's, it's like a, a print of some form. Well, we can't get down on the live show. What, what do they retail at, James, again? Uh, 36.99. That's a bargain. Yeah. I may take right. one of those out. For Right, I think well, we that's it. Let's go. One more thing though, just before we go. Sorry, um, just a quick one before we leave. Um, wow, Jody, you're huge. <laughs> yeah, I'm so amazing. sorry. Oh, she's gonna kill me now. <laughs> Hi, Justin's mods. Oh, just go around. Not long left. Ask me, ass is bigger than my belly. <laughs> <laughs> the competition. Uh, look. Guess the fucking ages, or, or guess the weight combined, is a genuine one. <laughs> yeah. Um. Just Can one quick thing. Oh, sorry, go on. Then we'll be very surprised. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Just a quick one. Sorry, guys. Um. There is another competition running at the moment. Richie's got one on his uh, sales page um, for uh, gorilla straps. I oh, don't tell um, them that. I want to win it. Shut. Up. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah he's got some Gorilla Straps he's got a competition all you need to do is uh, follow uh, Gorilla Straps on Instagram and Facebook and follow Vape Riches on Instagram and Facebook and uh, comment done on the Vape Sales page and uh, you have a chance to win some Gorilla Straps there we go so anyway guys uh, I think that's it done a really long show tonight which is awesome and uh, yeah end with a cloud and see you more next week next Sunday yeah yeah yeah. All right, let's end with Cloud. Bye, right, guys. See you next Sunday, 8.30. Cheers for watching. Good night, guys. Bye, guys.